Here's how I make chicken teriyaki meal prep. First, you're going to season both sides of 10 boneless skinless chicken thighs with salt, pepper, garlic powder, and ginger powder. Set it to the side. For the sauce, you'll need some soy sauce, brown sugar, and mirin. Give it a stir. Next, heat some oil and sear the chicken for about four to five minutes on each side. Make sure you do this in batches. Remove the chicken and add about two tablespoons of minced ginger. Cook for about a minute, then add the teriyaki sauce. Make sure you scrape the bits from the bottom of the pan. Now we're going to combine one teaspoon of cornstarch with a couple of teaspoons of water add it to the sauce and stir now add your chicken back into the pan and cook for about five to seven minutes I like to spoon the sauce over the chicken now you can leave the chicken as is I like to cut mine into bite-sized pieces and I also made some broccoli now just add one cup of rice one cup of the chicken and about three quarter cups of the broccoli into each meal prep container spoon over the remainder sauce and garnish with green onion and that's it I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I will see you next time bye High protein meal prep, chicken alfredo. Get 600 grams of chicken, season with paprika, garlic and salt until your hands look like you murdered your chicken. Oven for 25 minutes at 180 degrees. Get your pasta and twist so it naturally funnels in. Meanwhile, add garlic, milk, mozzarella, parsley, black pepper and your drained pasta. Stir together well until your pasta is nice and creamy. This is going to help you keep on track during the week. Enjoy and follow for more. I have gotten so many questions on how we maintain clean eating as a family on our busier days or on the days that I don't have time to cook a fresh meal. And my answer to that is simple. It is literally planning ahead of time and meal planning. I meal plan about once a week. I'll make food for our breakfast, lunch, and sometimes dinner like I am over here. I circulate between a lot of different foods that we like to eat thawed. For breakfast, I'll make things like healthy muffins, oat bars, pancakes, or waffles, and this just makes some of my busier mornings a little bit easier. I keep a section of our freezer ready for the meal prep that I have prepared and we call that section emergency food. So instead of ordering out anytime we are hungry but there's nothing available, we kind of open the freezer and pull something out of there. It takes a few minutes to thaw these food, heat them up and you have a nutritious meal ready. For this week I meal prepped some fajitas and then some brown rice, chicken breast and vegetables on the side and I have yet to make some healthy muffins for the morning. Emergency foods are a must if you plan on clean eating. If you struggle to eat enough protein each day, it is probably because you are not planning ahead at all. So we are gonna take care of that today. We are gonna do some meal prep. So I got three different protein sources. These are all from Trader Joe's. I got the carne asada, the shawarma chicken thighs, and the wild caught salmon. You guys, this took 30 minutes total. And now I have my proteins for the week. You can literally just make simple meals with these. Pick a carb source, a veggie, healthy fat, then throw your pre-prepped protein onto there. And now you have no excuses not to eat enough protein you just had to do a little bit of extra preparation ahead of time This week's meal prep cost me $2.60 a meal. I always like to remind myself that eating healthy is often a privilege and not a choice. 
which is why I like to share my tips on how to eat healthy on a budget. Meal prepping might not be for you, but how awesome is it that you can consider yourself lucky to eat something different every day? Meal prepping not only is a way to help me combat my obesity, but it is also one of the many ways that led me to financial freedom. After I was seeing how much money I was saving each week, I turned it into a game and continued to meal prep. If you are struggling financially and trying to lose weight, it is possible to do so on a budget. It just takes practice and time. Like and follow for more tips and tricks.